Oh no, it's dropping. Oh, it's dropping. Oh gosh, uh, berries. I think these berries help. 52. Ooh, yeah, that helps all right. <laughs> Everything's backwards. All right, survivors, welcome back to Unturned Hard Mode on the New Brunswick map here in Canada. Picking up right where we left off here on a lovely beach in Canada, somewhere in Canada. I don't really know exactly where because I don't have a chart or a GPS. But uh, it's just about morning and I'm down to 2% hydration. So why don't we go ahead and have a standard Canadian breakfast and that would be uh, maple syrup. But first, I'm gonna I'm gonna putrefy it with the putrefaction tablets, <laughs> and now it's 100% delicious. Mmm, magically delicious. Up to, wow, 30% hydration from syrup. Ooh, that's awesome. Okay, well, the Canadians really know what they're doing, don't they? Now let's see what else we have to drink. Yeah, we don't have anything left to drink other than tomato soup. We will get we'll get a little bit of hydration from that, but not very much. So we need to come up with a water source. And you know what? I know where there's some water. There's a water tower here in town. We bumped into it at the last episode. But we need to make a pine bottle. Ooh, actually, I'm going to break these down. Let's make a pine bottle. Yep, right there. Oh, crafting one. Drat. Oh, good. 27 experience. I think we can do this uh, crafting. 20. Yeah. Whew. That was close. All right, let's make that bottle. And we do have duct tape. Perfect. So now we can get over to that water tower and drink water from. It's going to be dirty and contaminated and make us potentially sick, but we're going to have to do it. We don't have much choice. We don't have anything else to drink. Oh, look, those shorts are back. What are black trunks. These are awesome. I'm going to salvage them, though. I don't need the trunks, but I could use the, uh, the cloth. Now, one other thing I wanted to do that we didn't get to do in the last episode, though I did talk about it, was check out the bank over here. There's a bank. And I had uh, wanted to go in there and even mentioned the bank. Oh, berries. Look at all the zombies out this morning. Hi, caramba. Just here for the berries. There's the bank right there. We'll grab, uh, we'll, we'll go inside, check out the vault, and then we'll find the water tower, which is over. Oh, there it is right there. I can see from here. Yes, yes, yes. Way on the other side of this village, wherever this village is. Oh, by the way. Thanks for your comments about this being the, uh, we are on PEI, we're on Prince Edward Isle. And uh, we know this because the zombies don't spawn inside buildings on this map in the PEI um, areas. And that's where we are. And that's because the developer of this map, oh, Teklovka and Rope. Oh, that's it? Oh, come on. Really? The vault usually has some really good range of stuff, but no, uh, Teklovka's not too shabby. Um, but yeah, so in, back in old Unturned 2.0, zombies did not spawn inside of buildings. So the map maker wanted to simulate that here and give tribute to old Unturned 2.0. That's both good and bad news. The good news is we don't have to worry about zombies spawning on the inside of buildings inside uh, um, um, here on PEI, which is great. Is that a piggy wiggy wiggy? Oh, it is. Hello, piggy. Oh. He just ducked inside. He's like, nope, you didn't see anything. Uh, we got to go get him because he could have some delicious um, Canadian bacon. Yeah, we already had our maple syrup, but we need Canadian bacon to go with it. And this could be dangerous because there's zombies. Zombies in the streets anyway. And the other reason that's good news is now that uh, we know that it's only here on PEI, the rest of the map will, will be more challenging. And we'll, we'll <laughs> I just killed the microwave. Uh, yeah. No bacon. Man, we're striking out. With the bacon, uh, darn. That's uh, that's the second Canadian pig we've killed without any Canadian bacon, right? I guess again it would be a tease because we can't cook it. Unless I get my cooking skill up. So anyway, yeah, the rest of the map, anything not here on this PEI area, which is just a, a little island down in, I guess it's in the southwestern corner of the New Brunswick map. Um, all the rest of the map will be hard. We'll have zombies spawning inside, so that's good. Because this is a hardcore playthrough, and we kind of want it hard. Oh, coconut. Is that coconut water? Yeah, baby. Oh, it's good stuff. Now, I don't like... Um, I don't like looting places I've already been in the previous episode. Since we've already been here, I'm going to try to avoid that. But if you see something in the window, I mean, you got to go for it, right? I mean, you got to go for it. And here's some more berries. Wow, look how fast that hydration's going down. That's killer. Let's make a berry. We can make blueberries and russet berries. And let's drink 
indigo berry. What's that going to do for us? A little bit of hydration. Good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to get off PEI as soon as possible so we get zombies spawning indoors. And, you know, PEI is... We already know PEI. We've played PEI a gazillion times. So I want to go check out the rest of New Brunswick. See what else it has to offer us. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with some dirty, contaminated water. And drink it. Let's see. What does this do? It's like, does it drop our sickness? Oh, gosh. Drop shit, dro drop shit down about 9%. Is that what that is? Oh, gosh. Yes, it is. 9%. Ooh, that's a lot. we gotta we got to work on our lead belly. <laughs> Uh, down to 60%. I think we'll stop right there. We'll stop right there. If we drop it down any closer to 50, then that's going to be uh, it's going to be too risky. Because once you get down below 50, it starts to drop automatically all on its own, and you'll eventually die out. When it hits zero, you start losing health. And we don't have any other medication, do we? No. I think this might... Uh, you know what? Does that bring it back up? Or does it lower? Oh, gosh. hope it doesn't lower it. Oh, no. It lowered it to 50... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm thinking of the Vermilion. Oh, well that was dumb. Oops. Okay. Well, learn from my mistakes, folks. So now we're, we're really playing with fire here. We got down to 55%. We can't go any lower. We get down below 50, we're, we're done for. Until we find some medication. I can't eat anything that's going to make us any sicker. I have to avoid all this stuff. Oh gosh. Alright, let's get back to the boat. We're going to take the boat across the bay. There's actually a, um, I saw a ship over there, like an aircraft carrier. I wanted to point that out, but I forgot. Once we get back over there, we'll head over there and check it out. And maybe it's got one of the new air fighter jet um, vehicles. Yeah, air fighter jet. <laughs> a fighter jet on it. Nelson added fighter jets in the last update. That's not the ship. It's definitely an aircraft carrier of some type. Um, he added it in the last version, uh, last update. But unfortunately, since we started this map before the update came out, we're most likely not going to have um, fighter jets spawn. Any fighter jets spawned in already, because as far as I know, all the vehicles are spawned on the map when it is first loaded up. So we did that before fighter jets were even added to the game. So what we need to do is destroy vehicles. Oh, there's the uh, aircraft carrier right there. Yeah, see? Awesome. So what we need to do is destroy a bunch of vehicles around the map that we don't absolutely need for ourselves. And that will open up some space for new vehicles to spawn in. And if we're lucky, one of the new vehicles that spawns in will be in a, uh, a fighter jet. Because I'd love to fly around New Brunswick on a fighter jet. But there's the... Uh... Oh, look, there's fighter jets on there. But you know what? I bet those are only props. I can't imagine they just would have spawned in now. I don't know. That's something I asked uh, Nelson. I, I tweeted him a message to find out how the spawning works on particularly custom maps like this one. Because I'm not even sure if fighter jets will spawn naturally on a map like this. Even if we do destroy every vehicle on the map, will we get a, a fighter jet to spawn in? I don't know. Oh, shorts. Orange trunks. Ooh, these are lovely. I'm going to break those down, though. And the green travel pack. We have a blue travel pack. Yeah, let's just break that down, too. Uh, we have rope. Hey, you know what? We can make a bow. I think we can make a bow now with this rope. I've got plenty of sticks over here, and I'm pretty sure a bow will come with... Uh, where's my sticks? I think a bow will come with one arrow. Arrow included. Let's see. Let's type in bow. And... Yeah, we need seven sticks. Okay, let's grab all of them then. How many do I have? I've got enough. Yay! All right, let's make a bow. Pine bow. Sweet! Now we have a nice, quiet weapon with which to shoot the zombies from afar. Oh, don't shoot, don't shoot. Save that bow. Now, i got all these guns. Let's put the guns away. Because they're kind of useless right now. I don't really have enough ammo. For them. Let's put the AK in here. I'll carry this one around just in case we need it. And how about this Teklovka? What you got in there? Two rounds. Okay, well that's kind of useless. Put that away too until we can get some more ammunition. Right there. And yeah, let me just get organized and then we're going to get out of here. The sun is on the rise. we got the whole day ahead of us. We're going to take the... What is this thing called again? Skipper! Oh, it's only got 4% gas. Oh boy. Well, we're not going to get far, but we, we're going to have to end up... We'll end up swimming. <laughs> but let me just get organized, guys, and then we'll go. Hang tight. Be right back. 
All right, guys, I'm all organized and ready to head across the bay to the aircraft carrier and beyond, which I believe is the mainland of New Brunswick. Although I can't be certain. It might actually just be the other side of PEI because it looks like it might even be connected there, though. That could just be the, uh, the background. Yeah, that might not actually be land that we can uh, get to. But anyway, we'll find out when we get across the bay. But first things first, we got to get rid of the fire chief. I don't think we're coming back to PEI. Hello, everybody! Come get some! And we might as well get rid of the, the fire chief so that we can, uh, so that we can make space for an aircraft. Fighter jet. There you go. Good zombies. Chew it up. Nom nom. Tasty treat. And now it's time to go. Ah! Uh, oh, there's somebody right on my six. Oh, look! Colt! Oh, gosh! Get back! Back! Bad zombie! You were a good zombie. I don't like you anymore. Back! Beat it. Holy smokes. How the heck did he not hit me? <laughs> Woo! Oh, that was close. Beach is closed. Get out of here. All right, I'm going to take this guy down. Just got to get my energy back. I cannot get hit. We're down to 55%. Whoa. And if we get hit, I think it's going to drop below 50. And then we're going to start slowly dying of sickness. Zombie illness. Oh, come on. Really, dude? It's going to be a problem. All right, he's going back home. Good. Get out of here. I'm going to go grab that colt. And I want to get the medal from Fire Chief. We can't let his sacrifice be in vain, after all. We need to make it worth it. So we'll grab that Colt. It's in better shape than my other one, isn't it? Oh, sure is. Let's strip this one down. Do it quick, 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 quick. That guy's going to come back here any second. Salvage it. Stick you down here. And now let's grab the medal and go. Thank you, Fire Chief. You were awesome while it lasted. All right, there we go. Goodly amount of metal. And what's in the shed? Nothing. Okay. All right. Well, uh, purple jacket over there is preoccupied. Let's go. Now is our chance. See how far we can get on. I think we have like 4% gas. <laughs> Let's fix up my primary weapon here. Old Cami, the camo cleaver. And now away we go. Uh, actually, I'm going to put the battery in here. And I think we're ready. Let's fly. 4%. Let's see how far we can go. Go, go, go. Don't waste any time. Let's get to that aircraft carrier. Oh my gosh, it's already down to 2%. All I did was start it up. Not so good on the gas, apparently. <laughs> All right, 1%. If we get some speed up, then we can drift, maybe, to the aircraft carrier. Ooh, she's drifted all right. She's drifting pretty well, but I think uh, we're going to have to swim. Looks like we got a little swimming to do. Uh-huh. All right, she's still moving? No, all right, we're getting out. Bailing, bailing, grab, uh, I'm gonna grab that so we can put it down before we get on top of that aircraft carrier. And I think that's all we need. Uh, what does it take to make an arrow? I know a stick maybe, and I think one piece of metal, right? Let's see, arrow, arrow me. I'd like to have two arrows if possible. Oh, it's not um, metal. It's nails. Okay. Three sticks? And one nail. You get three arrows out of it. Oh, right, right. Okay. Anyway, let's go. We've got a little swimming to do, so I'll meet you guys over there. Oh, looks like we might even be able to get up. Hold on. Oh, no. I don't think I can get on top of that. So... Oh, something in the water there. Yeah, we're going to have to find a ladder or a ramp or something up. Maybe there's a rope ladder on the other side? I don't know. Oh, it's Canadian military aircraft carrier, of course. Well, we are in Canada. Uh, oh, airdrop! <laughs> just kidding. What a tease, though. Yeah, I want to check those jets. I, I, I guarantee you they're just props. Unless one just spawned in after we sacrificed old fire chief. That would be nice. What do we have here? Looks like... Looks like an APC that crashed. I don't know how the heck it got here. Did it fall off the aircraft carrier? I don't know. Let's uh, let's go see if there's anything in it or beneath it or. Oh no way! No way! Military night vision! Oh yes! Oh that's awesome! Ooh, that's good stuff. Man, I tell you, this map—it's <laughs> loaded with goodies. We found military weapons at the gun store in the town we were just at in the last episode, and now we've got um, military night vision. Fantastic! We never found military night vision in the last um, season, did we? All right, well, this is pretty nice. Now, we just have to find a way up on top of this um, aircraft carrier. Can I put this here, I wonder? 
I don't know. I'm very close to death, and I don't want to lose the stuff that we have here. 55% uh, immunity, which scares me, because if I just take one or two hits from zombies, it's going to put us below 50, and then we're going to be slowly dying of, uh, of nasty zombie illness. And it looks like it's guarded. I can't get up there anyway. You know what? Hold on a sec. Let me, um... Do we have any points? Oh, 30 points? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's bump up our survival. Slow the rate at which we lose food and water down somewhat. Oh, yeah, look at this. Military zombies. Canadian military here. Let's find a way in. Go get some goodies. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. A ramp. But there's it's well guarded. Can I jump up on top of this boat? Dang it, no. How am I going to get past this guy? We got a lot of military over here. Oh, he swung at me. There he goes. Yeah, that's right. Run away, big chicken. Uh, check this out. Oh, he's coming back? He doesn't like being called a chicken, apparently. A stick. Good, we can make arrows. Wait, can we make arrows? Dang it, we need three sticks to make an arrow. Right, I forgot about that. Now, let's try on one of these tops. Is it bigger? Does it have more space? Uh, same space as my black parka. But it looks nicer. It's not so hot. <clears throat> Black Parker is really making me sweat. Uh, what is that? Ooh! Guys, is that a maple strike? Holy smokes. Oh, this place is amazing. Oh, God, there's so many zombies here. Maybe I can chop them up from up here. Yeah, I bet I can. Stay back. Get him, Cammy. Cammy can't quite reach. Oh, there we go. There we go. Good. Chop, chop, chop. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Take a number, fella. Oh, this is awesome. There we go. Four wax. And there's one other guy over there who's very upset with us. Uh, standing on the table. Maple strike. Oh, baby. With my nuclear skin. Two rounds. <laughs> it's not going to be very good. Oh, what the heck is this? Is a desert falcon on the ground. Oh, it must have been in the pile. Oh, no way. Oh, that's sweet. All right, we gotta shoot this guy, get him over here, and then, uh, wait, am I standing? Uh, I can't, there's no reticle, so I don't know. Oh, I <laughs> shot the light! Oh, here he comes! Oh, boy! All right, I cannot get hit! Cannot take any hits. There he is. You can't get up here, can you? I hope not, because I'm gonna just whack him. Bang, bang, bang! This is good experience, too. What'd you, what'd you drop me? Oh, helmet! Nice. It's seen better days, but let's take that off, and let's fix it up then. 10%. Yeah, that's terrible. There we go. Put that on. Feel much better. And a desert falcon, guys. Amazing. All right. Uh, ooh, getting filled up fast here. Getting filled up mighty fast. And butterfly knife. Salvage that. And you know what I'm going to do? Oh, dang it. I really want to save it, because the game's locked up on me twice already in this playthrough, and I got such good stuff. I'm going to go over here and save it. The only problem is, uh, the only problem is the zombies are going to respawn. I'm going to put this down right here. I know it's not the safest place in the world. Um, although, well, can I put it on the tank? I just don't want to lose this progress, guys. It's such a hassle that that happens. Oh! Oh, this is a safe, safe, safe place. Okay. That's just in case we die. And now I'm going to leave, exit the game, and save it so we don't lose all these goodies or this progress. And I gotta figure out this, uh, this crashing issue because it's really annoying. Anyway, I'll be right back. Don't go away. All right, guys. I'm back. And you're not going to believe this, but I have now explored this ship two times. Two complete times. Got all the way to the decking. And unfortunately, uh, the game crashed on me twice. Two times. So, yeah, we're going to do this again. Third time's a charm, right? But I am going to... I'm not going to take that. Anything that I've already... Uh, any rooms I've already been through after saving it, uh, before saving it, I'm just going to leave it alone, like this room right here. But now, see, i got to kill all the zombies again. And this guy, I'm not going to be able to get him because he's a stinking runner. Come on over here, pal. Uh, maybe I can get him over here. It's a little lower. There. Whoa. Oh, he got me. Oh, you rascal. Down to 48% now. Yay, yay. Is it gonna drop? 
on its own? I don't think so. I think it's 45. Oh, no, it's dropping. Oh, it's dropping. Oh, gosh. Uh, berries. I think these berries help. 52. Ooh, yeah, that helps all right. <laughs> Everything's backwards. <laughs> but at least I'm over 50%. All right. Good. We're good. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so... Ooh, you know what? I forgot my arrow, didn't I? Before I left. Yes, I did. Um, so I did find... Uh, I'll leave that there, too, because I've been through these two rooms the first time, right? I did actually find a GPS. So hopefully we can find another GPS on the aircraft carrier. That would be nice. But we shall see. All right, so now anything we find now is is mine. I get to keep it. Got the engine room here. Uh, what is that? Oh, a stick! We can make arrows! Yay! Wait, how many... Oh, no, I need one more. Okay, I need one more stick. Now, I don't recall running into any zombies in any of these rooms down here. My first time through, but they are up on the deck. Yeah. Oh, an umbrella. That's nice. Oh, 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 cargo shorts. I thought they were, um, I thought that was a GPS. I had the same, same color. I might even take my shorts off. Fix them up. Nobody peek. There we go. Put that back in there. And grab... Wait, do I have an umbrella? I'll have a purple umbrella. Never mind. I better make that number four like I usually have. Okay. Now, I think we're going to get up... Yeah, up the stairs. No P. Rizzo here. He's not on this ship, unfortunately. I wonder if there are NPCs on this map. I don't know. I haven't seen any yet, obviously. Um, yeah, I came through here. and All these cabinets were empty my first time through. Oh, got a rag this time. So, yeah, I apologize for all the restarts and all this nonsense and rigmarole that I have to go through just to keep the game, uh, keep my progress. Because I keep losing progress, a lot of progress. Ooh, Zubek, nice. And, oh, an Eagle Fire. Ooh, wait a second. Do I already have one of those? Uh, see, I can't keep track of what I have and what I ha don't have. <laughs> That's the other problem. Um, Zubek. Let's strip it, because I know I have another Zubek. And I think it's roughly in about the same shape. Uh, a maple... Hey, can I get maple? Ooh, I can make a maple arrow. There we go. I'll actually make three maple arrows. Yeah, okay, now we're talking. All right, very good. Oh, hi. Oh, and wham. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh, it's time to run. Now it's time to run. Grab that grab that arrow. Yeah, these were fakes, like I thought they are. See, they're just props. Here we got gas can here. Uh, gas tank. Now I'm jumping in the water. We're out of here. Bye! We're done. There's really nothing else here. Although I would like to grab my sleeping bag before we go. So, yeah, believe me, guys. I'm as frustrated as you are that I have to keep doing this and keep saving the game constantly so that it doesn't... Um, so I don't lose my progress. And it doesn't save. That's the problem. I wish I had another GPS, but I didn't find one. Oh well. I did get one the first time through. What you gotta do? Alright, let's get over to land and save it again. One of the biggest drawbacks of having to keep resaving it is that the zombies respawn. So, it's just like when you suddenly you feel... Oh, I didn't get all the way to the top, did I? Aww. Yeah, you know what? I don't even care. There wasn't really much up there. Maybe I'll go up there on my own after we get to shore and save it. And I did run the uh, file integrity check, and it found one corrupted file and replaced it. But clearly that wasn't the problem, because it had locked up after that. So, I don't know. Something else going on. I just haven't had time to troubleshoot it. So hopefully I get some time and I can figure it all out. But for now, we're going to set up camp right here and save it. And I better save it right now. going to save it. Be right back. Don't go away.